Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Sugam, and I know that many of you are art lovers, and some of you, try, you know, like doing the canvas painting at home. However, you get confused that how to make a frame of it and you know hang it on the wall. So in the end, what happens is you usually go to market and you ask them to frame it for you. However, they charge you somewhere around somewhere around 500 plus, or it goes up up till. 1500 based on the size of the frame and based on the quality of the frame the design you're going to select and if it if you need a glass covering or if you need a latex covering over it or not so today i'm going to tell you about what is the easiest and the simplest way to frame your canvas painting without investing so much and you, you can hardly Uh, you know you you have to hardly invest on the cost of around 150 rupees you just need to buy some frames of you know some of the beadings of this kind of wood which are easily available on the wood shop or the you know timber shop where you buy the you know furniture material the raw material these comes in various shapes and lengths and different width size if you see this is more wider than the one which is over here so if we try to compare the one is more sturdy and all and i have read framing of my wife's painting like multiple times so the one which you see over here is the least wider than any of the other one so it depends upon the frame size that how big the painting is the bigger the painting the bigger the canvas is you should buy a wider frame or the wider beading from the market and you can make a frame out of it accordingly however you just need only couple of tools which is one is going to be this stapler which is a which which you can call as i'll show you the video of it which you can call as tp10 stapler right and then you just need a small axe or a small saw not a small axe but a small saw you need a small saw and that's it and definitely you may have a ruler at your house the scale or the ruler with the help of which you can do the measurements and accordingly you can cut it into the pieces however it is not going to be a regular frame or a regular cut and you know cut and make nail it uh, with the stapler and it's ready i am going to tell you that what is the best way in which you can make the sturdy frame out of it the best way of placing the different section of woods with each other so that the frame comes out to be really strong and that's how it's going to look like if you see if you try to see if i shake it if i do anything if i drop it nothing is going to happen it's just because this frame is really sturdy so taking no more time let's start the video first of all you should do a marker to know that see if you are going to make a frame you first of all you should know that you have given a proper margin in your canvas painting so that you can fold it at the backwards so that your painting should also not come on the back side of because uh, the, if you have not given the margin then what will happen if you have Draw your painting till this end, then it will get folded over here, and it will make a bad look, or your painting may look incomplete because some of the part of your painting has gone on the other side of the frame. So you have the margin over here, so you can make a rough estimate that how much fold you are required to do, so that if you put a staples over here, no issues happen, and you know easily your painting is still visible on the other side. The white part should come here, and don't and need not to forget. that there is a width extra width on the height side of the frame as well so it is also going to take some space of your canvas so that now because this will take some extra space so next time if you are going to make your own paintings at home make sure that you give the enough margin on your can your canvas so that at the time of making the frame your painting should not overlap or come on the back side of your frame like this
and so we are going to put the wood pieces in a way where the frame will end little before then the actual marker and that little before measurement will be equal to the width of this wood okay so what will happen is the wider wood piece frame at the back side will look something like this it will come till here then the, then the next piece of wood will start from this part and it will go like this and it will end till here and the next piece of wood will start from here and will end till here and the next piece, piece of wood will start like this so if you try to understand that we are not going to make two long pieces and in the middle two short pieces because if you try to fold it like this those joints can bend but in case if you will keep the frame like this and then starting from here ending here and then starting from here even if you will try to bend it it will not bend because if the joint over here of a staple is over here the another joint is actually like this so it will not let it bend and that's how your frame will become sturdy many of you people will be thinking that why not we are using the 45 degree angle i can do that we can use the 45 degree angle also which is the actual way of making the frame first of all this frame will not be visible it will be at the back side of the canvas and the second thing is making a 45 degree of frame is not very easy for every individual at home right so rather than making a 45 degree of frame we are going to make a frame with the straight pieces which will be easy for anyone who is trying to make a frame at home so i'm going to tell you the easy way of building the canvas frame and the sturdy one uh, which will be so strong that you know you can you can hang it on the wall easily you can carry or you can transport it anywhere and nothing is
And now we can staple these pieces together in 45 degree angle. So if I show you something like this. If you see the frame is ready. Alright, so the time is the canvas or the frame. And step by two.
is ready.